Thank you for joining today's session, How Google Cloud Enables Accessible Healthcare for All. I'm excited and passionate to talk about how we at Atos Mavenwave have been utilizing Google Cloud technology, working with healthcare providers to expand our reach to underserved populations. Whether it's helping make telehealth a reality or providing real-time insights through the use of data from your wearable devices, Technology has allowed us to provide personal and accessible care, especially to those who may not have the awareness, means, or access. Over the next 15 minutes, we will take you on a journey of discovery. We'll start by talking through the healthcare industry trends and the problem many underserved communities face regarding healthcare. Next, we'll review the steps we took to define a solution that we think that could have an impact on those underserved communities and then describe the solution itself. This case study outlines a small step in providing accessible access to care for all. And of course, we'll end with our key results and our main takeaways. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Gretchen Peters. I am the healthcare practice lead for Maven Wave. Healthcare has been my passion for over 25 years. I hold a master's in business administration from Northwestern University's Graduate School of Business. I have worked for companies across the healthcare ecosystem, including names you might recognize, such as Walgreens and United Health Group. During my tenure at Walgreens, I held various positions responsible for driving strategic growth initiatives, including domestic and international expansion, product development, and digital offerings and innovation. At OptumRx, a subsidiary of United Health Group, I served as Vice President of Digital Solutions Group, owner of all company-wide digital assets. I was responsible for defining, articulate, and executing the vision and strategy behind OptumRx's use of digital technology. At Mavenwave, I'm excited about how technology can help organizations transform the way they deliver care. Mavenwave is a North American-based technology consulting organization that has been a premier Google Cloud partner for over 10 years. Recently, we were acquired by Atos, a global digital transformation organization. Atos Mavenwave helps com leading companies shift to digital and shorten that fuse to innovation. By utilizing Google Cloud technology as a foundation, we can accelerate the pace of innovation for companies. Whether it's harnessing the power of AI to reduce fraud, waste, and abuse in the, in the system to lower costs to patients and payers, or simple tools such as refill reminders that drive adherence and therefore a better outcome for individual patients, technology enables new ways to provide care. The marriage of technology and patient-centered care brings significant promise of healthier lives to all patients. So let us begin. What is healthcare disparity? According to the CDC, it is the preventable differences in the burden of disease, injury, violence, or opportunities to achieve optimal health experienced by socially disadvantaged populations. Health and healthcare disparities are often viewed through the lens of race and ethnicity, but they occur across a broad range of, of dimensions. For example, disparities occur across socioeconomic status, age, geography, language, gender, disability status, citizenship status, and sexual identity and orientation. And these disparities have been recognized for over two decades. Good news is we've seen improvements in the areas of insurance coverage and life expectancy, but a chasm of inequity still exists. And the past 18 months of the pandemic highlighted the work still to be done to bridge that gap. A recent KFF study found that people of color had over three times premature excess deaths per 100,000 people in the U.S. in 2020 over the rate of white and Asian people. The higher rates of illness and death among people of color reflect the increased risk of exposure to the virus due to living and working and, and transportation situations and the increased risk of experience, experiencing severe illness if infected due to higher rates of underlying health conditions. All of this was exacerbated by barriers to treatment and testing. So what are the drivers of these disparities? 
The drivers behind accessibility to quality care for underserved populations and the impact that lack of care has on people is multidimensional. Socioeconomic factors, employment status, geographical factors, even cultural barriers and linguistic channels challenges all affect the patient's health outcomes. For instance, income and type of employment can profoundly impact the frequency and quality of care a patient receives. In the U.S. healthcare system, insurance benefits are tied to a full-time, what we call regular job. For those unable to work or in non-traditional fields or working multiple part-time jobs, this poses a barrier to being insured. This lack of access to insurance results in people foregoing preventative and managed care, mostly due to cost factors. Often this results in more costly acute incidents of care and hospitalizations. Geographical factors can also impact it. When you think about it, your neighborhood can influence your access to care and oftentimes your lifestyle factors, such as reliable transportation, walkability, do you have a park nearby, housing quality, air quality, including things such as access to grocery stores that offer fresh fruits and vegetables that impact your nutritional quality. All these factors influence a person's health and well-being. That impact is on their, and seen in their mortality rates, morbidity, life expectancy, healthcare expenditures, and health status. To respond to such challenges for underserved populations, we need the healthcare system to be something it has historically not been, adaptable, responsive, and resilient. We need it to be adaptable, using non-traditional means to reach patient populations, using technology to personalize care for individuals and their circumstances, meeting patients where they are and how they want to connect. We need the interventions to be real-time and actionable. As we saw during the pandemic these past 18 months, these systems also need to be responsive, responsive to new ways of providing and delivering care across the care ecosystem. Whether it be telehealth or virtual visits, we need to be responsive to the changes in the world around us. And of course, through all this, we need our systems to be resilient. Resilient in terms of always available with real time care capabilities that regardless of what mother nature throws at us, we can recover instantaneously and pivot. They need to be resilient in terms of security. As we've seen it splashed across the headlines recently, cyber attacks are a real threat and companies need to provide patients peace of mind that their healthcare data is secure. Indeed, this is where Google and Atos Mavenwave come together to help our customers meet these adaptability, responsiveness, and resiliency objectives. As we discussed before, underserved populations are at a higher risk for serious health issues. For this case study, we're looking at technology's ability to impact type 2 diabetes management. When it comes to chronic health conditions, it is estimated that one in 10 US adults have diabetes, and more shockingly, that one in three are pre-diabetic. Decades of research have demonstrated that diabetes disproportionately affects racial and ethnic minority and low-income adult populations in the US. According to the American Diabetes Association, these populations are also at a higher risk of diabetes and diabetes complications. Preventative and regular health checkups are often foregone for meeting other necessities such as rent and food. And even when affordability is not the issue, access to quality medical care or reliable transportation becomes another additional barrier for regular health checkups. Whatever the cause, lack of resources, access, awareness, underserved part populations are disproportionately affected by these chronic conditions. For most chronic conditions, but especially diabetes, you cannot rely on drug therapy alone. You need to manage your behavior and your lifestyle. According to the ADA, effectively managing and treating diabetes requires self-management, education, and support, medical nutritional therapy, routine physical activity, and psychosocial care. 
patients and providers are encouraged to engage in person-centered collaborative care guided by shared decision-making and treatment regimen selection, facilitation of obtaining needed medical and psychosocial resources, and most importantly, shared monitoring of agreed upon regimen and lifestyle. Unfortunately, patients only see their doctors every three to six months, and for those with transportation or insurance challenges, it can be even longer. To modify behavior and impact actual lifestyle changes, patients need to engage in a regular feedback loop regarding lifestyle changes. On average, it takes more than two months before a new behavior becomes automatic. 66 days to be exact. So how much impact can a provider have when they may only see their patient three to six months a year, every three to six months in a year, or once a year? Asking the question, are you exercising regularly? Are you eating right? And what effects are their exercise and eating decisions having on their health or quality of life and seeing that in real time? It doesn't exist. So to provide the best treatment for patients outside of the context of medication, we ask people, would you engage in a real-time interaction with that, that collaboration of care? And overwhelmingly, through our focus groups of providers and patients and others in the care continuum, the answer was yes. I want to do this. We want to participate in this. Patients said, I want to change my behavior, but unfortunately, I don't have the resources. I get sidetracked. I don't always know what the best behaviors to choose are. And I don't really understand what changes in my behavior and lifestyle, what impact that will have on my, on my quality of life. They need a feedback loop, a real-time feedback loop. So we discovered we needed a platform to support an intervention that was personalized, adaptive, and gave people these recommendations in real time, what we would call precision and personalized population health, scalable personalized medicine. The solution was to create a platform where we collect data points, patient data points with cloud and IoT technology that could be done at home making the assessment and treatment of type 2 diabetes easier, cost-effective, and enabled healthcare providers to engage more effectively to improve health outcomes. Since according to a recent study, a recent Pew study, 80% of individuals use a smartphone almost every 12 minutes, it's amazing, the technologies of IoT and cloud have provided a way to engage with patients in real time, wherever they may be, and through whatever device they want. Where they are at, it allows practitioners to engage the patient when it's most impactful with relevant data. Such a solution is cost-effective, value-based health care, whereby it's impactful, high quality, and more than one individual can get access to it. It really takes away the haves and the have-nots. Through this analysis, we settled on Fitbit and ByteSnap as a result of the client's extensive focus groups. The results, the results identified that the solution had to meet the patient wherever, whenever, however, essentially utilizing tools already at the patient's fingertips. The next step would be to curate the data from the wearables to gain insight into patient's behavior and the impacts of the behavior. Then collect the data passively from patients and process it through a machine learning algorithm to analyze the patient's behavior and impacts on their health. We settled on architecture with storage, intelligence, orchestration, and visualization layers. Atos Mavenwave is using Google Cloud Composer for workflow or orchestration. It's a fully managed workflow orchestration service. It's perfect for use cases like this because it's simple and easy. Cloud computer users of any experience level can alter and schedule the workflows. Raw Fitbit biometric data was pushed to Google Cloud Storage, where it was correlated and warehoused with patient profile data and historical data. This HIPAA-sensitive data is housed in a secure environment, configured for best practice for network and identity management and to protect consumer, customer information. Then using Data Studio and Data Lab to perform the data analysis that correlates metrics with population and geographic information, such as census and Google Places API data. 
it took those insights gained from the data collected and personalized them to relay messages back to each patient in an impactful and personalized way in order to modify the behavior. We created a secure machine learning and AI powered platform that leverages data collected from wearables to provide real-time recommendations. For example, the platform can aggregate demographic data plus Fitbit data outlining physical activity, sleep and diet nutrition trends to create custom profiles that send personalized notifications to patients, influencing behavior at scale. The framework that Atos Maven Wave created using Google products enables the care team to mitigate the burden of chronic diseases. With this platform, physicians can advise patients remotely, providing automated health recommendations based on actual data. The technology also allows physicians to work more efficiently and provide specialized care to patients who may not otherwise get it, especially in underserved populations. Plus, it can be easily scaled up for broader applications in situations that don't require inpatient monitoring. Thank you so much for joining this session. It has been great to share this case study with you. If you're interested, we have another exciting session, How Common Spirit Health Enabled Remote Collaboration and Care, where we present Common Spirit Health's migration to Google Workspace which represented the largest Google workspace migration by a healthcare company to date at 165,000 employees spread across more than 1,000 care sites in 21 states. Believe me, you don't want to miss that one. Have a great day and thank you again.